Students getting the need for speed. For the first time, they had the unique opportunity to race Formula One cars at Circuit of the Americas this weekend. I was there in the middle of the action and quickly learned it's about more than who makes it to the finish line first. There he comes. <laughs> Here he comes now in hot pursuit. It's as close to the Formula One action as you can get, minus the size and sound. Adrenaline pumping Saturday as dozens of young drivers from across the state went bumper to bumper for a race of their own. It's an engineering competition called F1 in schools, but for these students, it's just pure fun. This team from Aikens High School spent the last few weeks designing their own cars on the computer, then building them from scratch. We've had um, seven prototypes, and out of those seven, we've chosen two, our two best ones. Each team has a name. Axiom Racing. <laughs> like us on Facebook. Chloe Scroggins from Granbury High School near Dallas is one of the few females. My dad pushed me to go into engineering. At first I wanted to be a mechanical engineer, but then I started um, get looking into the Navy, and so now I'm looking more towards nuclear engineering. She's giving the guys a run for their money. We beat um, our other Granbury High School team, Accelerate. Every single time, four times, and so we're pretty much just tearing it up at this point. Before hitting the track, each car powered by carbon dioxide must pass inspection. It takes more than speed, though, to win this race. Teams have to be fast with the trigger and wow the judges with their designs. For most of these students, just coming this far is rewarding enough. We just work together. We talk a lot about what we're doing. Everybody has their own specific job. And we just make it work. Aaron. Those kids were great. The Aikens High School team came in third overall. The winner of yesterday's competition will go on to nationals in Michigan, but they also received an automatic bid to the world competition, and that takes place right here at CODA one week before the.